Okay, this is our Halloween 2009 spooktacular trash scary thing. So, um, as you can see, we have this pile of stuff on our front porch, and there's some steam starting to come out of the face over there. So, uh, I found a fog machine someone was throwing away, it was broken and read about how to fix it, and after four or five tries, I actually did get it fixed, which inspired me to do the rest for Halloween. Um, so, here's what we've got. We've got our spooky guy, which is, it's a, uh, it's a bag cut out, lined with foil. It's got a spooky face, and it's got flashing bicycle lights inside, you know, a front and a back, a red and a white and that's gonna uh, give off an eerie flashing glow tonight when it's dark. Then, uh, of course, we've got the heart of everything right here underneath the sheet with the dead faces all over it. Don't you like our dead faces? Uh, it's Halloween after all. Death, death, you know, all that good dead stuff. So, uh, underneath here, underneath here we have the smoke machine that I revived with a timer. Uh, the timer allows it to puff smoke instead of just running through all of its smoke. And then it goes to our homemade chiller, which is not loaded right now. It'll be loaded tonight for our next pictures, but there'll be ice in there, and that'll chill the fog that's going through a vacuum cleaner hose. So it chills it, so it'll hang really low when it goes into the box there. So instead of it just puffing out like it's doing now, it'll fill the box hopefully and just drip out of the, out of the uh, sides. And of course there's our flashing spooky face inviting all the kids to come and get candy and stuff. And we've got, of course, uh, is it going to puff again? Here we go. Here's another puff of smoke. Okay, so there's our puff of smoke. And then we have, of course, our black light, which will illuminate the smoke in a ghastly glow. All right. And then out here, beautiful tree, by the way, don't you think? So out here we have, of course, the red light that announces that we're either a brothel or a place to come and get candy. I guess it depends whether you're an adult or a child. Okay, so that's uh, basically Halloween 2009. And, uh, oh, our smoky guy. I'm very excited. I had real fun bringing the smoke machine back to life and imagining all of the things I can do with it. All right, well, that's it for now. Um, I'll uh, do this again when it's dusk so you can see it. All right, ciao. Okay. I know it might be overkill to use a thousand dollars worth of like sound effects tools to uh, make spooky sounds, but that's what we're doing. We have the massive uh, sound processing rig working here, and then it's going to go out. You probably can't see that, but to the little practice amp right there making spooky sounds. Kind of dashed off, you know. And then, let's see if this is going to work yet. Okay, I'm afraid to let it get any darker because you probably won't be able to see it. Beautiful tree again, gorgeous tree. Okay, and we have our smoky guy. When it gets dark, well, we'll try again in a minute. But there he is, flashing and smoking away. I think he's sort of like a trick because maybe you think that the leaves are on fire. I don't know, but anyway. There he is. Can you hear the spooky sounds?
full moon. Red light district. Scary man. Well, I've enjoyed this. We didn't have one trick-or-treater, but I have enjoyed it. All right. Happy Halloween till next time.